Good evening. We begin tonight with a developing story in Hamilton. That's where seven buildings are damaged after police say a young boy started a fire. Neighbors tell Nine on Your Side this is not the first time this boy has tried to set a building on fire. Nine on Your Side reporter Amy Wattis is live with the story. Amy, what are you learning? Well, Julie, fire officials tell me that the eight-year-old admitted that he did set fire to a garage in the alley behind Campbell Avenue here in Hamilton. Neighbors can't believe that he did this just for fun. Here's a picture Diana Miles sent to us moments after the garage went up in flames. She lives nearby and wasn't surprised to hear who set the fire. He's always out here by himself. He's never... He's never supervised. Jamie Young says the boy set fire to another building right before this happened. We put that out, and then I went and told his grandpa, and then not even 15 minutes later, this happened. Well, what we try to tell people is that you have to realize that kids from an early age emulate their parents. And if they see parents using lighters and matches, then they're, they're going to try to follow that same trend. So it's very important that you, you know, keep them secure and that you also make sure that maybe you don't use them in front of the children. Chuck Keller owns the garage the boy set fire to. As an eight-year-old boy is what they're telling me is what did this. Uh, get to play with matches or whatever he was doing and start fires. Fortunately, he has homeowner's insurance, but says what's inside the garage won't be able to get replaced. This winter, we uh, gutted the house and fixed the drywall and insulated it and had all the baseboards, uh, done all the work of restoring at it. You know, filled all the knot holes and nail holes and had it all refinished, ready to put back in. We was going to do that this week, and all that was stored in that garage. So that's gone. The fire melted the siding on the back of Amy Rapp's house. She says she's lucky the rest of the house didn't catch fire. It took more than 20 minutes for the fire department to get here due to the rolling brownouts here in Hamilton. Captain Rule says that's not the case, and they did everything they could to get to the scene as fast as possible. Nobody was injured in this fire. Uh, the fire also did spread to power lines nearby, causing oh, close to 100 power outages in the area. Now, uh, it's not sure if charges will be filed, and it is up to the in in arson investigator to determine that. Amy Wattis, not on your side, live from Hamilton. It'll be interesting to see how they handle this boy and prevent this in the future. Thank you, Amy. Now